That flight, according to the FAA, was illegal and subject to a $10,000 fine. So you might be asking yourself, Alex, aren't you inside? Well, yes, I am. I'm inside my own home. But according to the FAA, that flight is still illegal despite being inside my own home. And believe it or not, it has nothing to do with these. According to the FAA, I am standing in navigable airspace and it is subject to all the laws and regulations passed by the FAA. And you might be asking yourself, Alex, why do you have a paper airplane? Well, according to the NTSB, an aircraft is any device used for flight. That includes this. And according to the FAA, that right there is finable up to $10,000. Is this getting ridiculous or what? Now, I know what you might be thinking. Didn't Pierker V. Huerta throw that out? Because the judge did rule with prejudice that there was no enforceable law against SUAS operation. Well, that's true, except the NTSB has allowed the FAA to sidestep that by, classing, by classifying all flying things as aircraft. In other words, you are not even legally allowed to use the airspace in your own home. And why is that? That is simply because this aircraft is capable of safely navigating inside my home and therefore it's regulated. So because this and even paper airplanes are considered to be aircraft, now the FAA considers the airspace inside your home regulated airspace and subject to all rules and authority of the FAA. And the strange thing about this, the FAA is sticking to their guns on this one. In other words, they think this is enforceable and they are sticking to it. So if you, like me, think this is absolutely, completely ridiculous, please write your senator, write your congressman, and tell them the FAA has no business regulating anything inside your home. I'm Alex Grieve, and I'm asking you, fight the good fight, and keep them flying.